So this Saturday we're having a regional competition for the National Robotics League here at Olathe Northwest High School, which is a combat robotics program. And all of the teams will come and their robots will battle to the death. We kind of went with a simpler is better design. So, yeah, we kind of were like, okay, we want a vertical spinner. Do we want it wide? Do we want it thin? Mm -hmm. And then we went with this, and originally it was just going to be a flat disc, and we were like, okay, we want to increase our moment of inertia while keeping our weight low. You want to do what? Increase our moment of inertia. Basically, increase it's, moment of inertia. it's the equivalent of it's a rotary momentum. Mm -hmm. So basically, we'll keep moving after it hits stuff. Oh, I see. So if we hit another robot, our weapon doesn't slow down from 7,000 to 1,000. It'll slow down maybe from 7,000 to 4,000 or something. Right, like that. okay. Only thing that got damaged was the duct tape on the front that was there, just there to keep it from scraping up the floor. Mm -hmm. And then there was a point, and then I understand you want to see how long the belt would last. Yeah, so right now we're using duct tape as our belt because it's, it's actually really good. Yeah. Electrical tape because it's actually really good as far as flexibility. Because it stretches enough that we don't throw out our motor when the weapon hits something. Because with a lot of belts, if they're too tight, like something like a chain, when you hit something and you stop that, it draws a ton of current through your battery, which can. Blow out your battery, break your speed controller, all that's just all around bad. But the electrical tape, so far, it's slipped enough that when we hit something, it doesn't break the motor, but it still gets it back up to speed pretty quickly.